Hey gang, it's Cheap Bastard here. It's Thursday. Another day of psycho babble about uh, stoves. Uh, yesterday was Wednesday, recycle day in our fair city, so I went out and grabbed some cans and uh, started knocking together a few things uh, that I've gleaned uh, from YouTube and other sources uh, regarding wood burning camp stoves, pyrolysis, wood gas, etc., etc., etc. Uh, this is going to be a kind of a tribute to uh, Jay Falk and his wonderful Bushwhacker stove, uh, from which I have drawn a great deal of inspiration. And also, I don't know the guy's name, but he goes by Guns for Toys, has made some wonderful wood gas stoves that are demonstrated on uh, YouTube. So, uh, so I got a couple of things that I put together. Again, this is a knockoff of the Bushwhacker stove, my version. Uh, with uh, a subtle change here and there, nothing really fancy to, to go over. But I wanted to say that I like the design of the Bushwhacker because you can control the airflow uh, much better than uh, some of the others that I've uh, experimented with and played with. Uh, I like this uh, four hole design in the outer chamber. Uh, I made some changes in the burn chamber. I added a, a lot more smaller holes. Uh, and this was based on some uh, things that I had seen on the guns for toys. I didn't poke any holes in the bottom of this can because it sits right on the ground, so it just has holes in the sides, uh, just as J. Falk uh, shows. Again, the holes line up just the way he has uh, uh, discussed, and uh, you can turn the top outer can to, uh, to stem the airflow once the once the thing is burning i also added this little pot stand and this is kind of an idea that i stole from uh, guns for toys <laughs> not exactly the same thing but uh, an adaptation and effectively what i'm doing is reducing uh it's acting as a reduction ring so it reduces the amount of uh, flame coming out I've only played with this in a burn test. I haven't put a pot on it to cook with it yet to see how it works. Uh, but uh, I definitely notice uh, uh, slower burn times, longer burn times. Uh, and I like the way it packs away. It all, it all goes together very nicely. Uh, this is a windscreen, uh, which is folded up when you unfold it. It covers the whole thing, including the pot, and it packs away very nicely. Within, uh, within this setup. Oh, it just drops into the bottom there like that. Windscreen goes around the burn chamber like that. Nothing fancy, nothing new really. Uh, but it does fit together nicely. I really like it a lot. It's a, just a tad bit smaller than the one quart paint can at the uh, hardware store. Fits nicely into my little bag that I had for my old cook set and it doesn't weigh a ton like it a lot so this is just a smaller version same thing uh, a couple of cans pot stand reducer again these cans are nicely the same size sorry I haven't drilled the holes in here yet uh, I'm just playing with this one uh, but I like it it's just a little bit smaller than the other Burn time is uh, 10 minutes with about 15 minutes once the flame goes out of heating. Uh, but I like it. It's a nice little compact design and it does fit inside my GSI Pinnacle Soloist Pot. As well, I can put my uh, alcohol burner inside there. So it's a nice little package. Love it. This is a little teapot, that I, a tea uh, box that I found. I really like it. It's it's pretty cool. So I just set a uh, soup tin inside there. Again, drilled out uh, some secondary holes. There's four holes in the bottom. Ooh, a little dirt there. Uh, I burned this this morning, and man, oh man, it's a rocket. It takes right off. Uh, it's a pretty quick burn, but I realized that by turning the can so that these four holes do not line up, I can slow slow down the burn time considerably. And again, this same pot stand fits right on there very nicely. Uh, more of a just for fun gig. I don't think I would take this out anywhere, but it was just fun to play with. So that's what I got.
Get out, get some cans, make some stoves, gang. Cheers. Bye.